Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant. Um, Quant is um, a little bit uh, uncertain at the moment what it's going to do. As you can see on the chart, primary expectation would still be lower lows. I mean, we reached that area here, we reached that area. Those were all reversal areas. We're at the moment a bit in the range here between the $100 and $10 level and that low between uh, at 86. So it's a bit of a range and to be honest, ideally we need a breakout above or below these levels oops, to be more certain what's going to happen next. Um, my view is that the wave B was fine, 50% Fib retracement, that's fine, it reached my reversal area, all good. Uh, I think, I mean, we can count this as a three wave move, that's fine as well. And we have, on the lower time frame, we can actually see five waves down. So for me, the next move will give us more clarity. For me at the moment, it already confirms with high likelihood that we are going down. If we go above the wave B high, obviously it will invalidate that view. Um, based on this, we would expect at the moment, my primary expectation would be lower lows. So we can count five waves down. Uh, this means the, the maybe the first wave of the wave C is now getting exhausted soon. This doesn't mean we need to go up now, but it means we're probably getting to the end of this move down here, the, wa the first wave of the wave C, which is again a five wave move. So normally in a wave C, you would expect here a one, two, three, four, five, something like that. So based on that, I would expect a wave two to the upside next. The wave two, how high would it go? It would normally go not higher than the 78.6% Fib level. That level is at $109, just above the previous swing high. So if that means if we go above 109, it is not reliable anymore that we are here in a wave C. Okay, at the moment we can assume that, but above that level I would expect we are doing something different, either an extended wave B or something more bullish in that we already had the ABC finished here. It's unfortunately possible because we reached the target area already. So we could, and we are unfortunately in the situation that we have to assume this as well, that the wave two was already finished this would not be the case had we not hit my target area, but we did. Therefore, this is an assumption we need to make and uh, at least a possibility that we need to consider that wave two was already finished and that we're already moving up in a wave one. This is a two and we're gonna move up in a three. Yeah, but um, for now, as long as we stay below $109, for me, the focus is lower and I will reconsider my view above $109. But even now, yeah, very shortly, I would expect a wave two anyway, a retracement to the upside, and that should give us more clarity about where we are heading. And when that wave two remains un below $109, we should see quite a significant sell-off in a wave three next. Okay, that's my update about Quant. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.